What's happening guys? So today I want to talk about whey protein and I want to go over some of the different options that are out there and what might be best for you depending on a certain different amount of scenarios, okay? So we got three different types that are out there. We have whey protein concentrate, we have whey protein isolate, and whey protein hydrolysate. The first thing I want to talk about, I want to get this whole anabolic window myth out there because everyone seems to think that there's this whole 45 minute window that comes after your workout where you need to get out as fast of a digesting protein in as, as you can or you're going to lose all your gains, you're going to go anabolic, okay? This does not exist. I'm not going to go into great detail as to why it doesn't exist in this video. Perhaps in the, in the future I will do a video covering this, but for now, Hopefully you'll just take my word for it because it's craziness. Okay, the first one I want to talk about is whey protein concentrate. This is going to be your cheapest form of whey protein, but cheapest does not necessarily mean worst. Everyone always just thinks, okay, it's cheaper, therefore it's worse. You should stay away from it. It's garbage. It's it's no good. That's not necessarily true. And in some cases, you could actually argue that whey protein concentrate is really the best form of whey protein, depending on how you look at it. It is going to have a lower percentage of protein compared to your other macronutrients that the other ones will have, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a, a terrible protein either because it's going to be minimal. It's going to have more carbs and more fat, but there's not a lot of it in there to begin with anyway, so I don't really see that as being a huge issue unless you're on some seriously poverty macros, then you might want to think about it, but in terms of just having a little bit of extra stuff in there, I don't see that being a big issue. Then you have whey protein isolate. This kind of it isolates the protein, okay? So it takes out your, your carbs and your fat and your lactose and things like that. It takes those nutrients out so that it becomes a higher content of protein. And also because of this, it is more rapidly digested into the system because it can get through faster. But as I mentioned, the speed of which your protein gets into your system is very negligible and probably makes no difference whatsoever anyway. So just keep that in mind. Whey protein isolate will also be more expensive as I alluded to earlier because of this process. So depending on your budget and kind of some of your needs, whey protein concentrate may do just fine and be cheaper for you. You could even make a small argument that there's gonna be more vitamins and minerals in whey protein concentrate than there is in isolate because they won't be kind of stripped out like they are in the isolate process, but there's not gonna be a lot to begin with anyway because the concentrate is created by having the protein pushed through a small filter anyway, which is gonna kind of strip out most of those small minerals anyway. So there might be some in there, but it's gonna be minimal, so that's really not a huge player anyway, but just something to think about. Then lastly we have whey protein hydrolysate and this process kind of is it's exposing it to heat which kind of splits several of the bonds and kind of makes it basically just makes it so you can absorb it extremely fast in your system. Super super fast. This also makes it super super expensive and to me this is absolutely insane to me. Unless you just have like crazy amounts of money that you don't care about how you spend it. If you just love throwing money away then this is the perfect product for you but otherwise you were wasting your money because both concentrate and isolates are already very fast absorbing anyway so to try to spend all this extra money to have it digest just this little bit faster thinking that you're gonna see any actual better results from it it's a little bit crazy in my mind okay with all that said where am I going with this well I think it's pretty clear that I do not recommend hydrolysates I think it's a complete waste of money unless you're completely loaded and you just don't care and you just want to throw your money away then that's a good one for you but otherwise I would stay away from it personally it's just not worth the extra money it's it's not gonna give you any better results anyway now between concentrate and isolate this can be kind of it just kind of depends upon your body and what you're looking for now if you are lactose intolerant certainly you're gonna to want to do an isolate because there's lactose in concentrate but that is stripped out for an isolate so it would make complete sense to do an isolate then if you're lactose intolerant also there is a higher protein content in isolates so if you're on poverty macros or something and you need to be very careful with your macros then an isolate might make more sense too because there's not going to be any carbs or fat in it or I shouldn't say none but there's going to be much fewer than there is in concentrate but the, the levels are not that high anyways to begin with so for most people I think that a concentrate is the right choice it's going to be the most cost efficient it's still going to do the job it's still going to get into your body fast if you really care about that for some reason and it just does the trick at a reasonable price. So I really recommend 
concentrate. Now, the only issue with that is it's really hard to find just straight up whey protein concentrate anymore. It's usually gonna be isolate or it's gonna be a mixture of the two or there's gonna be a casein mixture in there as well, which is fine. I just think it's just good to find something that you can get a good deal on, it tastes good, it has the macros you're looking for, and you don't worry about the rest. So I'm always looking for a good price. I don't really believe in this whole amino spiking thing, but hey, I don't know. I mean, if maybe it's true, maybe it's not. But whatever the case, you just need to find something that works well for you, but I just would not recommend spending a lot of extra money on supposedly much more superior protein that probably isn't better for you at all, okay? So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, as always, just leave the comments below and I will always get back to you. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.